Tessa from Mama's Geeky here. Thank you so much for stopping by my YouTube channel. Well, thank you guys so much for taking the time today. I super appreciate it. First of all, congratulations. 25 years of Blue's Clues. This is crazy. I know. Crazy, right? We, we, we don't only feel, five. I know, we don't feel that old yeah. at all. <laughs> I was like, it makes me feel old. I remember with my little brother, we would watch the show and then we would leave clues around the house like paw prints and we'd have to put stuff together yeah, we had extended yeah. learning we love yes. it when the play extends when you turn <laughs> off the show exactly and like my dad had this big chair and that would be our thinking chair they, <laughs> yeah, they, again, you know play. any chair can be a thinking chair That's right yes <laughs> we love it so i know i want to know the first question is like how did this idea even come about because i love that you mix you know putting the clues together and you still learn all sorts of stuff it's just a fantastic concept Aww, I think so way fun. back when Nickelodeon wanted to do a, a, to do game, a game show, show for preschoolers and Angela was working at Nick and the idea that they wanted to do something that celebrated what Double Dare was but for preschoolers it was so different right they couldn't do like a Jeopardy or like an adventure game show um and so you know, the idea of like, okay, how can we really reinvent and deconstruct what a game show looks like? And so Blue Schools was born from that idea of like, how would you play and talk to the camera and then have them, you know, the, the ultimate game show is right, that you're actually learning something. And so trying to figure out how we can incorporate the, the, the clues as a learning of metacognitive, like a bigger learning mm -hmm. point of view. And then and the then small the game. mini games and the think along aspect of it, but keeping a narrative arc but then taking those little breaths to play games. We spent six weeks together in a conference room. I know it doesn't it seem that, that we did it that quickly. I like, don't know. That, that, like, like, that was like the like initial. And then we would constantly take it out to kids in classrooms and literally play. Change and play show. as we would see how the kids would react. And then every it. element continued to add to it, right? But at the end of the day, like we could tell you why every second of that the show like the, mm -hmm. especially the first half like we can tell you why it's there um and what we were hoping to do and you know I wish we still had the emails of all our oh and my dreams. god and the yeah because just... they came true right like hearing from people like you saying that it impacted them so much it's just been so overwhelming yeah it's it's wonderful to know that that our our plan worked <laughs> Well, speaking of the impact you guys have had, I mean, this video with Steve that just came out, I watched yeah. it, I was sobbing. I'm like, oh my gosh, I didn't forget about you either. So <laughs> like, and thanks for saying I look good. Like, I love that <laughs> aspect of it. And that was, you know, that was all him, like coming it from was, that love yep, and passion. Yep. He just wanted to do it and, and wrote it, improv it, talked to camera. And then for us, it was such a gift, right? Because you know, not just like watching him was such a gift, but like what it stirred, like what it stirred up in people and all the response we've gotten from it. We're just like, oh my God. Yes, you know? we've had the pr privilege and honor of Steve coming back to work on the reboot and writing and directing. And he directed a lot of the promos for the 25th anniversary. This one included, and he just ran with it and owned it. And, and it Donovan just, too, who played mm -hmm. Joe is behind mm -hmm. the scenes as well as on camera writing and directing. And so it's really a family. Yeah. And so you can feel it and yeah. feel that. It's love. like a family reunion. And then plus after COVID, you know, we're all knowing what those family reunions feel like. Now it's like, why we love each other. Like you can just feel it it's leaping true. off the screen. And they really just want to support Josh because Josh is just the most amazing, genuine, authentic yes. person, He's let the alone real the deal. level of talent that he brings to making our world come alive. Like it is so hard to do, like in this underground swimming pool, you know, where you're trying just to act to nobody's mm -hmm. there and it's amazing. So yeah, so it's just, uh, we love it. Can you tell? Yeah. Yesterday was just tearing at every single moment. Oh, I don't I'm know if you sure. heard the Empire State Building was blue in honor of Blue's. No, it was. Yes. I love oh, that. Yes. Yeah. So it was oh, just an amazing day and just feels so, makes us feel so proud and grateful to be impacting, you know, so many kids' lives. It's amazing. It's just generation after generation. Like, I love that I get to share this with my girls. And actually, my girls and I got to interview Josh before. And so oh, they yay, loved fantastic. it. And he was yeah. so great. We were um, we were reminiscing are just so happy to of hitting that nostalgia because our young ones are now 20 and they're both at NYU together and as a special gift they took a picture of themselves in front of the Empire State Building for us with the blue in the background and it's like 
it feels cool to you know hit that generation and how cool it is for them to say that their their moms oh, are the creators of blues so clothes like, like oh blake lively reposted joe jenna's our kids <laughs> <laughs> we're cool it gives us that cool card yeah right i mean it's amazing and, and speaking of my girls they told me they're at school but they needed me to ask you this question okay. they really want to know what inspired you to make blue a girl and magenta oh yeah because they that love just, that we that was just gender bending of wanting to um you know girl empowerment and you know i was a tomboy growing up i wasn't very girly at all and um when we were discussing, you know, what blue would look like and just blue, you know, being very literal in a preschooler's eye of blue, what is blue? And then just saying, she doesn't need a bow. She doesn't need eyelashes. She's just blue, but she's a girl. So what? There it is. Mm -hmm. Boom. I love it. <laughs> I know. I love it because they love that. They're like, oh, blue's a girl. And like, they never questioned it at all, which is so yeah. great. And it's funny. Mind, it's usually you know? the, the parents, the adults who think that blue is a boy. But the kids, you know, just learn. And we love that she outsmarts everybody all the time, right? Yes. Because she's the true star and the leader and all mm -hmm. of that. Like, mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, she does. I know, because whenever we're talking about my husband will be like, he, and the girls will be like, no, Blue is a girl, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, a girl. Yeah. I know, girl. I love it. I love it. So um, another thing, I mean, it's been 25 years. So like, how do you keep coming up with all, I feel like it's evolving as it goes on and coming up with new different ideas. And how do you keep it, I guess interesting for kids, but also and for fresh. parents. Yeah, I love well, like, watching it with the, my with my kids too. I think it's we love it so much. It's ridiculous, and the team is so talented. Yeah. We have an entire writers room. The writers are ridiculous, as well as everybody else. The that animators, the everything. designers, the musicians. And their challenge, like they want to keep, you know, elevating and, and honoring and, you know, having all that passion. And, and then, what's fun is, I'm just, I'm sorry, going back to the writing that we have writers who grew up with the show, who now work for the show. So they just know, I mean, I mean they're, everything. They're like, no, actually, but, you know, when I was watching Steve, like they know everything like they <laughs> and still so happy to be, you know, take from all the old episodes and fantastic. using the talent. Right. So yeah, it's just so much fun. It's really ridiculous to like look around the table and, and figure that out. Right. That everyone has a love for blue. Oh, I love it so much. I love blue too, so much. I have a blue plush that my girls have stolen from me, but it's like Aww. one of my favorites. I had it from when I was much younger. So blue Aww. is just absolutely amazing. Something that's always been in my family. So I just want to thank you guys for this incredible show and 25 years of it. It's amazing. And uh, I want to know, how did it feel when you figured out, like you were going to be able to have this 25th anniversary and you're going to get all three hosts as a part of it. Like to know that that was like signed and done and on the table, how did that feel? I don't know if I really, it, 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 it hit me. I felt like, like we same. always knew it wasn't like a surprise or like, it's just like a family union. Like you're excited, you know it can happen. And then to make it happen, it just, oh yeah, like this is. I think it, and also the first episode of the, of the series with Josh, when they all, all three came together, I, you know, like I just watched it actually, it was just on. And it's just like, <laughs> all we do is cry, you know, but to see it, it's true. And then to see the impact, that song um, that uh, about the Blues Clues 25th and how we all, we you can't owe it all blue to you. without you. Mm -hmm. This gets me. And I think, again, having all three of them there is just. Yeah, you, we just feel delicious. very lucky and heartfelt and grateful and humble. All the, all the feels together <laughs> in one. It's so great. It's so special. And uh, last thing real quick, if you had one fun fact about the entire 25 years of Blue's Clues, what would it be? Oh my God. It's hard, I'm sure. I know, I was like, oh, that we were pregnant together. I know. I apart, like, right, when, oh, right when Steve was going to college and we were transitioning Donovan and, and we oh were like, God. we're not having these babies until... <laughs> is, it the, is it the blueprints aspect? Do you know That's the blueprints? Kind of fun. Yeah, that we wanted to call it Blueprints. That the show's really? original name was Blueprints. Yep, and we fought the pilot. for it too. Because we were blueprints to a child's development. I literally we love the layeredness like, of it. Of it's like, not just about the clues. It's, it's about, about child's clues. brain and the blueprints and that research, to their brain. Research is like, I don't care what you call it. They're it's calling it blues clues. The kids are calling it blues clues. <laughs> Yes, we're like, really? and they're it. like, should we? And they're like, oh, we always listen to the kids. Kids. And they were right. Blues clues. And now we look at them like, what were we thinking, Blueprint? Of course, the kids <laughs> named the show. 
Well, thank you ladies so much for taking the time to talk with me today. This was amazing. And again, thank you for Blue's Clues because it's impacted my life. I know it's impacted my brother's life, my children's life. Uh, and I just, I absolutely love it. So thank you. Oh, so much. Thank, thank you. you. Bye -bye. Thank you so much to all of my monetary supporters, my members here on YouTube, as well as my patrons. If you haven't joined yet, please consider doing so. We have some really awesome perks, including a monthly Zoom meeting where we get to talk face to face. Thank you again to everyone who supports me.